Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason Mason. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the bull float. So this is a bull float for concrete, right? So this is after we poured it, finished it. So you need a bull float and some handles. It's cold out right now, so I'm just gonna get right on it. But if it's real hot, what you're gonna wanna do is wet the bottom of this so it doesn't rip off your cream. And you wanna take a, a water or a concrete retarder and spray it all over it that way it gets a real slick finish but i don't really need to do that right now i'll show you how i start it Whoop. i'm gonna hit the house perfection so i always start i always keep away a little bit so i don't roll my edges i'll start right there i just keep it tipped the way this thing works is if you twist the handles those chains they pull it push it whatever so you want to pick it up this way you just want whatever way you're pulling you want that side up so again stay away from your edges because you will create dips which are hard to get out so i can ride this edge because it's flat there anyway so you go all the way across and you stop right there Back and forth, so all the holes are filled. And you can just slightly move over. So they're all filled. It makes a nice slick look. Now I come back. I kind of like go on angles like this. Nice smooth with my hands. You notice I'm not being real jerky. And we'll straighten around on the thing I just did. So this is the edge, the rule I'm talking about. You don't want that, it's right on the edge, it's pain in the butt, but out here it's not that bad. If you stop, also like right there, it leaves marks, so you want smooth pools. Also when you first start, on your edges, the, the less you tip it, the less you dig, the less you roll it. Nice slow pools. Another tip, I screeded it this way so you, whatever way you screen it you want to bolt float it the opposite way that way it makes your pad really flat so I screened it pulled it that way so I bolt float it this way Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skipping all around in my video. I see you. That was because no one wanted to hear your bullshit. <laughs> All right, after about a little bit, I'll come through, I'll hit it again. Uh, that way I get it even more smooth. So, like I said, the edges get a little rolled, right? So that's why uh, Sir William uh, over here is gonna go through, rub them back flat. And you want you want to mag all the edges to make it real smooth. All righty, so now we're gonna uh, mag this back in. If you did it right, you know you probably wouldn't have to do a whole lot, right? So I didn't, see that. I didn't start over. There. What? I started on that edge. I'm right. talking about oh, myself. Oh, yeah, I was like, if you did it right, I, I thought I, you were. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking crap now. So, <laughs> so you see that I got little holes there. All you're gonna do is take this. Rub it in from the outside until it's flat. Blend it back in. That's pretty much it. Nice and smooth. There's a little bit there, it's fine because I'm going to edge it. All right, 
I do that all around where it's bull floated. All the edges. And once you're done with that, you're ready to start edging. Start with the hard part, the corner. Leave this out here because I'm going to need it. So, if you ever have stuff on your edges here, cut it away. That's gonna, it's gonna bother your brush if you're doing a pool broom. So, get that all straightened off. It's all right, it's a little messed up. So all, you, all I do, I cut it into the edge here. So you cut down and I walk it. I'm a little quicker, but I'm just trying to like show you what you're doing if you're trying to learn. So walk it, cut it. Notice how I'm tipping up and pulling back. Then the other way, I'm gonna pick up, pick up the other side. It makes a nice slick finish. Do not push down and don't pull back. You want it completely set and level, just like your pad. So, up, down, up, down, nice and slick. Now when I do my corners, what I'm gonna do right here. Same thing you're gonna cut in. Right. You're always gonna get some little thing there. So I'm gonna take the edge here, take some cream, put it right in the corner. Right? I always go away from the corner. I don't push into the corner because it'll mess up the other side. So you pull away. Pull away. If you ever have holes like on your edge, just grab some cream with your edger, fill them holes in. Okay. Okay. Boom. Boom. And that's how you do it. You don't want no build up on your your corner there. All right. So just a nice smooth edge. And then just stay away from it. Don't go back to it. Just pull away. Move on. When you're done with that, be real gentle with your mag. I don't go right up. I always leave about a finger space. And just wipe that edge mark away. Shouldn't be too hard. You're pulling cream. Make sure you fill them holes back in. But it should just be a light drag. So you don't interfere with what you just did with the edger. Light, drag. And it should be nice and smooth. Ready to uh, pull a brush on there. So all done, bull floating and edging. That's what it should look like. Nice and smooth, ready to, uh, you know, move on to the next part. So if you got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching.